it is an exciting day in higher education. There is a transformation going on. The U.S. government is seeking to reform higher education to make college education free at the community college level and higher education at the university level is scrambling. Why? Because of financial dollars. They are trying to figure out how to make themselves useful and applicable and relevant in a new era as the global political economy shifts. And one of the biggest changes that is occurring is the U.S. government, as they redesign and reform higher education, they're going to begin to say, if you want our federal funding and our dollars, and taxpayer dollars, you're going to have to make this learning, applied learning, useful so students can leverage it to get a job thereafter upon graduation. And unfortunately, many universities, career service centers, they are not aggressive and forthright enough to tell the students, hey, you can get employment, you can come here, you can get an internship, you can find a way to transition into professional life. A lot of times they're just sitting on their hands doing nothing at these universities and the uh, dollars are being shifted more to hire more professors and to have them publish to market the university. But a change is coming and applied learning is on the way. So your top heavy PhD professors, they're not going to be able to uh, parade about like peacocks anymore on campus and act like they're better than everybody else because there is a new shift occurring in higher education and students and the government included are yearning yearning for applied education hands-on meaningful interaction and useful coursework and material with a uh, component that will give them an opportunity to have real life scenarios that they can put their hands into and uh, go forth into the marketplace and use. When I studied at NYU and I earned my master's degree in global affairs, I took a, a global intensive study abroad program in Chile and I was with the professor who advises the presidential cabinet and the core leadership of the country and it was a marvelous experience. When I went to Vietnam with NYU and my global affairs program, we met the Vietnam Petro executives that account for 20% of GDP for that nation as well as the uh, central, central bank director and we asked him who uh, as far as which country do you model your economic policy after and it was not China and uh, he told us secretly and uh, we got to interact with so many people including the Securities and Exchange Commission and the higher ups there so this is true applied learning yes we were taught some uh, useful knowledge at the Hanoi School of business there in Vietnam but also we went out and about and we interacted with people who own soccer teams and who are connected in government in the marketplace in the business arena that's true learning meeting people shaking hands getting out there interacting in society not just being buried in an academic cave and studying books so applied learning is coming I'm a believer in books if you PhDs are angry that's not my problem that's your problem I've got three master's degrees and I've paid my dues but I'm speaking to you in higher education I'm speaking to universities colleges campuses throughout the globe and I intend to start universities overseas in Eastern Europe and Asia such as China or India where they have need of new universities because the corruption in the few universities that they have has watered down the uh, the vitality of their educational systems and just because they merely examine people based on their test scores it is not doing their students good service by reason of giving them opportunities academically so they're having to come overseas and pay premium prices to study in American universities as an education consultant and a career college uh, counselor I help students with that and I also help universities reform and see how they can improve themselves and become better because there's a lot of universities that are weak they think they're great but internally the higher-ups are biting their fingernails and they're nervous because they know they've got big problems on the way unless they change their ways if you're looking for a, a consultant who can keep confidence and uh, keep this under wraps and work with your higher executives and your uh, chancellors as well as your provosts and your vice presidents and VPs in the inner echelons of the higher educational system at your university, I can do so. I can come in there. I can uh, go in as a student undercover graduate or undergrad and 
evaluate the professors and see what's going on and watch and behold the interaction or the lack thereof and pinpoint the egos among the PhDs who think themselves to be peacocks and better than everybody else. I can go and serve in that capacity and role and say this is what I would suggest to improve your university and make it better as well as how to market it so you can attract more students both nationally as well as internationally and I'm even willing to go on your behalf globally to do so. So I've lived overseas, I can attract students, I helped all the uh, high school students that I taught, the senior uh, 12th grade students that I taught English to, I was preparing them to study in Seattle community colleges in the state of Washington. So there is a, a clear path to make that happen. If you want me to work with your state and your governor to help that come to, come to fruition and come to pass in your university so you can have a global pipeline to other countries and international students. Here in uh, Texas, where I've been working at Texas A&M International University, we attract a lot of Indian students, specifically from the city of Hyderabad. I've lived in India, I've been there five times, traveled throughout the great country. So, uh, same with China, I've lived in China, traveled throughout China, I lived in Indonesia, which is the second fastest growing economy, mind you, behind China, and uh, the fourth largest populace in the world lived in Malaysia, a lot of big con economies overseas that people into as well as the global population of students, brilliant students that would love to come and study in your universities, be it Europe or North America or even Australia. So if you're looking for somebody to represent your university, be it on the f uh, front lines, to go into high schools and speak to students and to market your university and recruit, I can do that. If you're looking for somebody to go into your university and tell you this is what you can do to improve your university so it stays relevant and can improve its applied learning approach to attract students, I can do that as well. So talk to me, reach out to me, let me know what's going through your minds, let me know what your, your vision is for the future. Email me at info at paulfdavis.com and I look forward to hearing from and serving you.